Now, Lake of the Ozarks news update. Stories, events, activities, and entertainment information of interest in and around the lake area. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. This is your Lake News Update. Today we'll be talking about freeze-resistant bugs. Marijuana on the ballot. A biker bar in Sunrise Beach. A bungled burglary. A fishing lure so good it's illegal and more. But first, here's a word from our sponsors. Stick with us. Welcome to Furniture Showrooms by JC Mattress. We've been providing the bedding and furniture needs for the lake area since 1988. We carry premium bedding lines that include Serta, Restonic, Spring Air, and our own JC Mattress brand, manufactured right here in Central Missouri. And if you're shopping for fine furniture, JC Mattress sells name brands such as Broyhill, Flex Steel, Lazy Boy. Bassett, and more. Come browse our showroom located at 5645 Osage Beach Parkway, next door to Osage Beach City Hall. Open seven days a week. Your vehicle, it's part of who you are. It's your partner in weekday traffic and your passport to weekend fun. It's your sometimes office and your all the time concert hall. For all your vehicle is to you, isn't it time you did something for it too? Introducing the Quick Car Monthly Unlimited Wash Club. For only $20 a month, wash your car as often as you want. Enjoy significant savings and never worry if it's going to rain or not. Join the Wash Club today. Quick Car, quick, easy, and professional every time. If you are hoping this month's sub-zero temperatures might mean fewer insects this summer, well, you might be in for some disappointment. The Missouri Department of Conservation says most insects are well equipped to survive that kind of weather. And pests like ticks, chiggers, and mosquitoes typically spend the winter in the ground where the snow insulates them from the bitter cold. Even the emerald ash borer, a new unwelcomed resident in Missouri, probably wasn't affected much as the larvae can handle temperatures down to negative 10 degrees. But experts say a few days of warm weather followed by a cold snap would have the biggest impact on those pesky summer bugs. That's at least one good reason to hope for a little more cold weather before the spring. Local State Representative Rocky Miller is making waves again in Jefferson City. Earlier this month, Miller submitted a bill that would restrict the Missouri Department of Natural Resources' ability to change regulations for sewer systems. Now, this doesn't sound like an especially exciting topic, but Miller points out that more regulations means more cost for the sewage treatment plants, and those costs, of course, get passed on to the users. So if the bill passes, DNR would not be able to change those regulations until the department submits a study proving each change is needed. And Miller says that could spell savings for people across Missouri. Marijuana was a hot topic at the lake this month when an organization called Show Me Cannabis held their town meeting at Shawnee Bluff Vineyard. About 50 people showed up for the meeting where two Missouri police officers and several others spoke about the movement to legalize pot in Missouri. Now Colorado has gotten the most attention on this topic in recent months as it and Washington were the first states to legalize marijuana for recreational use. But about 20 other states allow the drug for medical use and that could be the future for for Missouri too. Show Me Cannabis Executive Director John Payne says this issue is gaining interest and Missouri voters could see it on the ballot by 2016. An attempted burglary didn't go quite as expected when a man reportedly broke into a home in Rocky Mount earlier this month. According to the Morgan County Sheriff's Office, John Fields III came into the house, threatened the homeowners with a firearm, but he soon discovered he wasn't the only guy there with a gun. Another person in the home pulled out their weapon and pointed it at Fields, and authorities say the would-be burglar dropped his gun and ran. When law enforcement found Fields, he was still on the property but had reportedly injured himself while trying to hide. He was ultimately taken to Lake Regional Hospital for treatment, and then he wound up at the Morgan County Adult Detention Center. Fields has been charged with four felonies, including burglary and several firearm violations. A developer got a taste of victory for his proposed biker bar and outdoor entertainment venue near Sunrise Beach. Dan Lombach, who also owns Frankie and Louie's, got permission last week from the Camden County Planning and Zoning, Com Zoning Commission to move forward with development on a couple of conditions. The commission said Lombach must conduct a traffic study and revise his site plans to meet code requirements. Along with the bar and entertainment venue, there would be storage for boats and trailers, campgrounds, and restaurants. The development site 
site is just outside of Sunrise Beach at the intersection of Route TT and Putten Bay Road. If you're a bass fisherman, you've probably heard of the Alabama rig, and if you haven't, local fishing pro Jim Dill says now is the time to try one. The Alabama rig is pretty new to the world of fishing, but in the past few years it's become a favorite for many anglers. It simulates a school of shads since you can hook up to five lures on it, and Dill says it works best in the winter. Bass seem to love it, but some state governments aren't biting. Get it? <laughs> in Missouri, only three of the rig's five wires are allowed to have lures attached, and that's the case in several other states as well. For a few tips on making the most of your Alabama rig, check out our friends at lakeexpo.com. The Lake of the Ozarks Watershed Alliance is offering free barbecue at a landscaping workshop next month. The event is scheduled for Tuesday, February 18th from 11.30 to 12.30 at Loa's demonstration site near the intersection of Bagnell Dam Boulevard and Osage Beach Parkway. At the workshop, professional landscapers will be demonstrating how to build a living wall rain garden. The secret? Grow socks. These help control runoff on steep slopes and allow plants to be established where there is normally not very much soil. To register for the free workshop, visit soslowa.org. A donation from the Lake of the Ozarks Swing Dance Club will feed local kids through the church at Osage Hills Buddy Pack program. Now, if you look all the way on the left in that picture, you'll see the lovely Ashley Kyle and her daughter Jocelyn. And speaking of the community, let's take a look at some events going on around the lake community this week. On Thursday, Dogwood Animal Shelter is offering dog obedience classes starting at 6 p.m. Those will be going on every Thursday through February 27th. Contact the shelter for pricing. On Friday, the Knights of Columbus Hall in Camdenton will be hosting a Red Cross blood drive. That's going to be on from 1 to 6 p.m. It's located right on Highway 54 in Camdenton. Saturday, the Winter Bass Challenge Tournament continues. At 8 a.m., anglers will launch from Robbins Resort, and the weigh-in is at 3.30 p.m. Also, Saturday morning, the Inn at Grand Glaze will be hosting the 31st Annual Mid-Missouri Antique Beer Can and Breweriana Show. Okay, the event will run from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It's free and open to the public, and uh, bring your own beer, BYOB. Seven Springs Winery will host its fifth annual Silver Cup Chef's Challenge on Saturday. The cost is $25 per person to enjoy food from Ruthie B's, Hideout, JB Hooks, and Willows. The first tasting begins at 2 p.m. and the judging is at 4. And on Sunday, Osage National Golf Resort will host a dinner buffet, concert and dance put on by the Ozark Jazz Society. The School of the Osage Jazz Band performs first, followed by the Lake Jazz Band and lots of dancing. Buffet is open from 5 to 6.15. Cash bar is also available until 9 p.m. Cost is 20 bucks per person. Music starts at 6.30. I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm Bob Spicer. And this has been your Lake News Update, brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com.